here forward, and then uh, I'll work on the back, which will, let me, let me talk to my face. So we are under the car, we're on uh, day two or whatever, it's Sunday. Um, so yesterday we got the oil filter relocation, uh, we buttoned up the power steering system, we uh, pretty much finished off the cooling system, well cooling and heating because I do have a, a factory heater core with lines running to it. Um, what else did we do yesterday? We put in the seat, the steering wheel, uh, the shift knob, but also like modified that uh, piece of plastic that the shift knob goes into. Um, so pretty much the interior. I, I won't actually button up the interior until I do the wiring because I think that I'm going to put the ECU and the fuses and stuff for the engine in the glove box. So we'll see. Uh, what else do we got? So today I'm going to do the uh, fuel system and maybe put the wiring harness in. The wiring harness is going to need some modification so it's, it's sort of a 50-50 but damn it. But uh, I'm definitely going to get the fuel system in today and we'll see what happens after that. I don't know how long it's going to take. Yesterday I put this thread cert in the chassis. That's an M8 thread cert and I will show you why is a fuel pressure regulator and fuel filter from a C5 Corvette. It's a pretty straightforward unit and that is why I've put this uh, thread cert into the chassis here. As long as you're staying naturally aspirated, these C5 uh, fuel pressure regulators work perfectly. Um, you can't really use them in a boost application because they're not a rising rate unit meaning that as boost is applied and increasing manifold pressure, you would need to increase fuel pressure, and this does not do that. But for an NA build, it's perfect. I have it mounted like this so it will clear the frame rail. That's so if something you know, came up under the car and hit, it wouldn't hit this. It would stop right here. Um, so that's the, uh, that's the reasoning for that. Now I'm going to run the lines from here forward and then uh, I'll work on the back. There are two fittings for the back. These two fittings are slightly different sizes. I don't know if you can tell, but the return is slightly smaller than the feed. So this one is the slightly smaller one and it's a quick connect. So that is all that's required. No, I lied. There's somewhat, something more that's required. Um, GM Quick Connect, so let's get it on there. She's not easy to get on, I'll tell you that. There it goes, here the click. Now it's on. Same thing for the bottom. Oh, that one went on much easier. Um, so we have officially converted the front there, or the back to dash six. Now there's a super duper special one uh, for the front here. There we go. That is also a quick disconnect. snapped into place, can't be taken out. None of them now. You would need a special tool to remove all of these at this point.
right, now that I have them pulled to length and attached, I have to secure these lines under the car so that uh, it doesn't sag on the ground. 